There you are, baby. That is your great, great Aunt Lana. She's the last living human being on your paternal grandfather's side. That is the last living human being on your daddy's dad's side. Aunt Lana. With your Grammy. Your only living grandmother. It's kind of sad to think about that, actually, because I don't know when you're going to see or if you will see either one of these women. And yet, they are you. That's Grammy in the white. She is your last living grandparent. God. And this is effectively your last living great grandparent. Biologically. And she's an aunt. She's the sister of your great great grandma. Aunt Lana is 90, almost, she's going to be 91 next month. And Grandma, Grandma is going to be, what, 74. So there you are. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to lie if I say that that doesn't irritate me a little bit that all you get to see is this video on April 3rd, Sunday, April 3rd, Father's Day, Valentine's Day for us, and all you get to see is a photograph of two women who are to this day, today, still alive and would still very much like to meet you. And so I gotta look at that and say, well, baby, did I fail? Clearly, some people believe that I did. And so if they're right, then I failed. It, um, setting up a situation and conditions in which you could be with them right now. Unfortunately, that is a question and they say in life, you know, the last thing you want is regrets. So, that is the regret that I have to live with. Unfortunately, it's also the consequence that you'll have to live with. Um, I visited uh, with, that was a picture of today, actually, uh, April 3rd. I took um, my wife, Courtney, um, with me. There's another picture here. She won't like... I know my wife, Courtney, won't like the pictures. But... That's Aunt Lana in the middle. There you are. There's Daddy. With the women. With his mother, his great aunt, the sister of his grandma and uh, his wife, and so I, you know, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you here. It's very, very difficult because uh, Aunt Great Aunt Lana, who is your great great Aunt Lana, my great Aunt Lana, who is. Um, 
the sister again of my grandmother. Um, she's 91, so we don't know how long she's going to live, which is why I made the visit. April 3rd, 2022. Um, she could live another six or seven or eight years, or she could live six or seven or eight another days. And then there's Grammy, Grandma, who I don't know her health is as good as your great, great Aunt Lana's. And uh, you've only seen your grandma once. And you've never met your great, great Aunt Lana, who is the last living figure and member on your um, father's, father's side. I know, it's confusing. It's important to me, though. That's my dad, dad's family. Aunt Lana is the last member, the last living, breathing blood relative on my dad's side. And she's my my great Aunt Lana. It's pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool that I got that picture today of Courtney and your grandma and my great Aunt Lana. Your Grammy, my mother, who's in that picture, is not related to Aunt Lana in any way. Aunt Lana is my mother's husband's family. And yet they love each other. And mom knows that, actually. My mom, your Grammy, knows that. She, she looks at that and says, oh, that's wonderful that my husband's aunt will accept me and bring me in as hers even when um, my husband, my father, your great or your grandfather is dead. Uh, it's it's complicated. We need to study family trees. I need everybody should study family trees. We don't know enough about it. We don't. We don't respect our elders enough in this world. And that is actually what upsets me. It's April 3rd. It's Father's Day, of course. Um, it's Sunday. It's Valentine's Day for us. And yet, you don't get to experience them and they don't get to experience you. And uh, I have to think about the ways in which I have failed to get us to an, you know, to a position and in a place where that couldn't happen. So it's Great Aunt Lana, the last of your grandfather's family, meeting with Grammy who is your uh, grandmother's family, meeting with Courtney, who's your stepmother. Remember this, if you can, and as you will, as you become a woman. Being a woman, being a female, being a girl, being a mother, is the most important job, is the most important identity that you can have. I'm not taking away the impact of daddies or men. And Courtney, my wife, will actually, hopefully, maybe raise you to, to understand that. Men are supremely important. Dads are in many ways more important than mommies because they're expendable because the courts think they're expendable because attorneys want to get them to spend their money so they'll give up so they'll walk away and yet they're so important to step in because we aren't everything that you came from. We are 
everything you might or could be. Very important. Very important. But, it's pretty cool having some females, older females, one, two, three, four generations, three generations of females within one picture. And so, I want you to take the responsibility that's been given to you as a female, and no one talks about that. We talk about the responsibility of a man, the duty of a man, what a man should do. Should he go to work? How much does he make? What kind of car does he drive? Is he going to do the right thing? Is he going to go to war? Is he going to fight? Is he going to die? What is he going to give up? These are all things that I accept, and we accept as men. You'll never quite understand it. But you should respect that. You should look at that and say, well, that's, that's, that's important. That's a, that's a man's sacrifice. That's a man's burden. That's a man's world. That's a man's rules. And yet, you should look at yourself amongst the women around you and say, I'm the most important thing that exists in my family. Because without mother, without grandmother, without aunt and great aunt, without female, there isn't anything. I want you to know that I believe that. I want you to know more of what I think about that because it's important. No one is dispensable. As, as important as the female is, she gives birth. And she gives birth to something that gives birth. And something else that gives birth. Without the man and his spark and his fire and his sperm and his seed and his love of life and his cultishness cultishness look it up there wouldn't be life A couple of those women are on the verge of death it's ticking but you know what's funny is, it's actually ticking just as quickly for each of us as it is for them. Now, they didn't like that. We were at dinner and I, I said that today. I told Great Aunt Lana, I said, well, we're all getting old at the same rate. That's true. The difference is, earlier in life, we have time to spend. Later in life, we have time to save. And there's the difference. When I was a young man, I wanted to run through life. Now that I'm an older man, I want to stroll through life. Because the end is near. Nearer. And so, um, I told her that, and I said, well, you know, but that's easy to say to a 91-year-old, right? She says, well, I could die tomorrow. Well, we all could die tomorrow. How do you balance that? How do you look at that? It's an important discussion that you and I should and will hopefully have as we move forward as father and daughter and at the end of the day doesn't change anything I love you and I hope you love me and that's why we have Valentine's Day but regardless of where you are and who you are and who you get to meet who you get to see who you get to experience or love as you go forward changes nothing. I'm still your father.
your daddy, your dad. Father's Day, April 3rd, 2022.